Good day and welcome back for another episode of my trip around South Africa. This episode will actually be the last episode from this trip as I am heading up to Drummond today which is close to Durban to visit a friend for two nights. After that I will sleep over for another night close to the Drakensberg before I will ride home for the last trip. This morning was very misty when I woke up so I am again leaving slightly later. But I want to thank my friend again. I spent a very enjoyable time here with my friend and his family. This trip was something I have been looking forward to since I got this bike two years ago. For many years I have been traveling with tourists as a tour guide around the country and now for once I get to travel around on my own, on my own time and only doing what I want. I have been very fortunate to include so many things on this trip. I managed to meet my aunt, met friends I haven't seen for 20 years and other friends I also used to see often but not anymore. It is also important to keep in touch as much as possible with people who cares about you. Camping with my motorcycle is what I lay awake and consciously dream about at night. There is still so many places I want to go. Also places I haven't even heard of that I want to discover. It almost seems like me and my motorcycle can go anywhere or everywhere. It was awesome to also be able to include camping for a few nights on this trip. Not only to be able to save money, but also to be able to sleep outside next to my bike, cook some food on the fire and wake up with the birdies in the morning. Today's ride to Drummond is not a long ride, roughly 250 kilometers. I will ride this dirt road for about 20 kilometers to Swartberg, then I will ride just east of the Lesotho border to Underberg and then down to Drummond. It's a bit cloudy, but luckily not raining, but at this altitude it definitely does get a little chilly. After almost two years of not being able to conduct any tours or invite any visitors over, I hope you are all eager to get out and explore again. I would gladly welcome you with open arms to visit us again, so we can provide you with hospitality unknown anywhere else. If anyone is considering exploring Africa, I hope you can see and realize that South Africa would be a great start or introduction. I have never been to Drummond myself and didn't know much about it until my friends very excitingly told me it's where they run the Comrades Marathon each year. Passing by Drummond when they run this ultra marathon of approximately 90 kilometers. Each year they change the direction of the marathon between Durban and Peter Maritzburg as Peter Maritzburg is around 870 meters higher than Durban. This marathon has been ran since 1921 and was started to commemorate the South African soldiers that had died during the First World War. Athletes has 12 hours to complete the race and in the last race that was ran in 2019 there was 19,000 runners who entered. Unfortunately the race could not be ran the last two years. The first 10 runners to complete the race all get gold medals and the fastest time this marathon has ever been ran was by Leonard Shetsov, a Russian athlete in 2008. He ran this marathon in 5 hours and 24 minutes. My friends also took me to the waterfall where we could hike a bit and stretch our legs. The next morning I had to wait for the rain to subside, as it was pouring throughout the night. The ride to Drakensberg is all uphill, but luckily also just around 250 km, so there was no rush to get there. One of my favorite places to stop is at the windmills rest stop, as there are always lots of fresh options for food to choose from. Here I am crossing the Tugela river which is one of South Africa's most important rivers. Its source is at the highest peaks of South Africa, at Montesos, 
and plunges 947 meters down the Tugela Falls. It runs for about 500 kilometers until it flows into the Indian Ocean. And the Tugela Falls has recently also been accepted as now the highest waterfall in the world. There is this very little town I just departed from, which is called uh, Winterton. This is a small farming community, and as you will notice on the way, in this whole region there are plenty of cornfields. Tonight I will be staying over at one of my favorite places in South Africa, the Amphitheater Backpackers. Don't let the name Backpackers deter you, as this is a very fancy and well-organized lodge that caters for all budgets and types of travelers. You will soon see the campsite with loads of green grass where you can pitch a tent anywhere you like. The ablutions and cooking facilities for the campers has plenty of equipment and all the utilities you might not have brought with you from home. The rooms are big and has amazing views of the surrounding mountains and is quiet so you can relax with your thoughts. I had dinner at the restaurant in the evening which I thoroughly enjoyed also opted for a dorm room for the night as it was still a bit rainy and I have a longish ride back tomorrow. Then the next morning the sun was out, there was no wind and the day seemed clear and beautiful for my last ride. As much as I am happy to go home today after finishing my dream trip, I am also already dreaming about the next trips that I want to make. With work involved, it's not always easy to take weeks off from work to do longer trips, so I will have to rely on weekends away, which are also fun, definitely easier to plan. The idea right now is to do more weekends away while it's summer here and to go camping with my motorcycle. I want to document as much as possible and share as much interesting information with you 
as I would normally do when I am on a tour with guests from foreign countries. As I am still completely new to creating travel content, I would like to improve as much as I can. In my upcoming videos, I will be going on short excursions from home, either for the day or for a night away. Around Gauteng there are plenty of opportunities to explore, and a few well-known routes and places I will be visiting, so those will be coming up soon. Some of you know me already, but others will still get to know me and get to know what I do as we go along. I love to travel and explore. I lived abroad, well in Europe for a couple of years, but I also had opportunities to explore, just not so much on a motorcycle. Since I came back to South Africa about 10 years ago, I have been a tour guide. I found my passion in life, being able to combine traveling, meeting interesting people and hosting guests to my country, I call home. With guests we traveled extensively around southern Africa, exploring Namibia, Botswana, Zimbabwe, Mozambique and also the countries included inside the South African borders, in Swartini and Lesotho. The knowledge I have gained over the years about these areas, the fauna and flora and geological formation of many of these places fascinates me. Since I have this opportunity to try and share with my viewers some of the knowledge and interesting stories I have attained, I am excited to create more entertaining videos for you, that you can enjoy and share with people that might also enjoy traveling, exploring and everything about the outdoors and nature. At the end of this episode, I would like to use this opportunity to thank everyone. I have learned so much from everyone I came to know on the way over the years and I am forever grateful for what you have meant to me and provided me with. We don't always realize how much we learn from each other and how much that helps us to deal with situations in our everyday life. This trip has been amazing and even better than I have imagined. You always think of the worst that could happen when you are planning, but once you take the step and execute your dream, it often turns out way better than what you ever could have imagined. I would like to invite everyone watching to try and go on a tour with me someday, anywhere around Africa. I will do my best to make it the most memorable experience ever for you and treat you as a guest, but also as a friend who is visiting. If you and your friends like travel and motorcycles and you enjoy my videos, and would like to see more of them, you may share my channel and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed watching, stay tuned for more videos coming soon, see you next time.